Welcome everyone. I am Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do this crazy little brain fart I had called a tube drop of animation. So let's go over to Canva and I'll show you how I came up with this wild idea. So for this I am using a video format so you can get your video format. This is a regular 16 by 9. I think it's regular video I use for YouTube and everything for everything you want to set up your background so i'm just going to go and lightly grab this i'm going to change my background color to black and then what i'm going to do is take the transparency down to this i just want to give it a little something in the background you could use anything i mean if you want to go crazy and like do coffee beans we'll, we'll see if I'll delete that one and you just do take the transparency down you're doing coffee beans you could do something like that. We'll just do coffee beans. Let's do the coffee beans a little bit lighter. Just to give it some kind of texture. You could do anything you want to do. So the next thing I used was this gold white podium. And the reason I use that is I am a free user. And it's pretty hard for me to find things. I'm going to lock this background so it doesn't move around on me. So I can do all this kind of stuff like so. So now I'm going to go over to edit image. As you can see, it's taking me to the old editor for whatever reason. And then I'm going to go through here and pick some colors. I want purple. I'm going to duplicate that. I want a, let's see, sangria. I'll duplicate that. And then I'm going to go and get a marine. And I'm going to duplicate that. And then I want, let's see, a parakeet. Then what you're going to do after you have those is you're going to go and I'm going to highlight these. I want to space them out more. So let's get a little bit more space in between them. I'm going to go here, highlight them, go into position. I am going to tidy them up. I think they need more space. What do y'all think? Hold on. Let me drag one away to get more space and tidy up. And when you got them the way you want them, and the size you want them. Let's make them a little bit bigger. Center them up. The other thing I did because I don't have Pro was I made my own little base. So taking and making the base, I just took a square, sized it up to the corners like so. And I went in here and I just put like this gradient on it. And then I changed the orientation of that gradient. So I'll go here, push gradient, and then I change it to this one to kind of make it. It's not the best, but it's just what it is. Let's do another gray on the other side and see what that looks like. Love action. And then put it in this orientation to kind of make it look more cylinder like. So. Let's make four of these. So I'm going to click on that and duplicate one here, duplicate one there, duplicate one there. Let's see if we need to move any of those. So I'm going to go into position now. I am going to click on the first one, hold my shift key down, click on the last one, and I'm going to move them. I'm going to drag them underneath my top of my pedestals like so. And then I'm going to highlight my first one, my pedestal top and a bottoms. Oops, I need to hit the C. I messed up. I hit the control key, not the shift key. So let's do that again. I am going to highlight the first one, hold down my shift key, hold the last one. So all eight are there. And then I'm going to go over here and group them. These are going to kind of stay stationary so you can put them wherever you want to go. And there's your pedestals. So the other thing I used was this lipstick that I've used before, if you've seen my stuff. And I just cut it down to just one of these lipsticks. I am going to size it to the size that I want to use, like so. And then what I did is I went and edit photo. Now watch, when I go to edit photo, it's going into the new editor. Gotta love Canva. Okay, so you get it to the size that you want. What you're going to do is I'm going to adjust the colors. So I want that to match the little line on my pedestal. So I'm going to go kind of purpley there till I get to a purple. I'm going to duplicate, send one over. This one can be kind of ready orange. 
And then uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate this one. And this one can be kind of blue because we're going to go be like punk rocky. Punk rock. Woo woo. And then I can duplicate this one and make it a, a green. So now I have my lipsticks ready. What I want to do, because I'm going to pull them off the page, I need to make them a, what I call a pull tab. That's my new word now. It's pull tabs. So you can either duplicate the image and make one out of it, but the easiest thing to do is just grab a square. So what you're going to do is grab a square, highlight these two together, group them, grab that square. So when you click on that square, it should highlight, and you're going to turn that to transparent. Why is that not doing that? There we go and transparent and you want to do that for all of them so we're just going to grab another square real quick you can grab a circle hold on i'll show you the other way to do it but we're going to make a couple other squares first so you can also do this you can do this duplicate this move it down turn it transparent highlight it group it together and that'll give you the room so that's just two ways to do that and then uh, hold on we'll go over here I need an extra one for the green over here. So we're going to highlight, group, click on that square, go over to your color, make it transparent, move this one up here. It doesn't matter if it's the front in front or in back because once you make it transparent, you're not going to see it. So it really doesn't matter. So now that I have all those, what I'm going to do is put these up here above their pedestals and I because I wanted a little bit of movement with them I gave them a little bit of a twist like just a little twist on each one and put them over top of my pedestal and give it a little twist so when it comes down it looks like it's twisting off so I'm gonna go here give it a little twist you don't want to give it too much of a twist because you don't want it going out of your cylinder when you make your uh, tube. All right, so I got these up there. So the other thing I want to do is make my tube real quick. So your tube is going to be a square. Let's go. You're going to do white. And what you want to do now is go into your gradient. You want all your gradient. I'm going to turn them all white. So I'm going to get my color picker. I always just grab right off. And I make like, you can do three, four, however many you want to. But you want to take the transparency down. So this line underneath this color slider right here is your transparency. So you want to take them down as much as you want. If you want, so you can see within your tube. So once you get the transparency the way you like it, you want to make sure your end point of where your tube is going to be. So we're going to make sure that our tube is kind of good size wise for this. And the other thing you want to do is I duplicated this. Let's duplicate it. And then I changed the shape to a circle. Now this isn't the best kind of thing. Maybe y'all can figure out something much prettier but I went here and then I wanted my gradient changed it here I changed it to like this orientation here and I kind of added like a black in there I'm trying to kind of make it centery just to kind of make it look like a lip it might not be the best lip but it's a lip. So now I have a lip. The other thing you want to do is just take this out because you're going to move it up and down. So you need that space. And then I'm going to go into position real quick and I'm going to hit my control key. This is already highlighted. Hit this. And then I'm going to group this together. Now, the other piece of advice to do in this, this is going to be a personal preference for you, is you can go into... And I just used this for like the first time the other day is add guides. So I want to go into custom. I don't want any columns. So I'm going to put zero there and I want two guides. So I'm going to put three on here for three rows, add guides. 
So what you want to do, just so you know where to stop at every time at the top, unlock your guides, move them up to where, when you lift it up where you want it to stop at, and then you can put one down here for how far down you want your tube to go. So now you'll have these to, as your guide to, every time I'm at the top, I want it to stop here. Every time it comes down, I want it to stop here. So you have guides here. So you can use this. So what I did is I started off on the side. Now we're going to, we got everything set up. Yes, I know it seems long and I'm so sorry. So now I'm going to duplicate. We got everything set up. So I'm going to go, I'm going to move it over above. See, that's why I need guys. I'm shaky above my first one. Then we're going to duplicate the page again. We're going to bring our tape down to our next line. Like so. We're going to duplicate again. I'm going to go into position here and I'm going to grab my first lipstick. I am going to pull my lipstick down the chute tube. Put it there and then straighten it up. Put it there and then I'm going to duplicate the page. I am going to grab this. I'm going to take it back up to my line and then duplicate the page. Bring it over to the next one. Yeah. And if you want to, you make guidelines. Sometimes these will actually show guides, show you like the sides. Sometimes it won't. Um, so once you move it over, duplicate. Oops, down. Duplicate. I feel like that needs to go over. Let's 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 delete that one, and then bump this over a little bit. Bump, bump. Oh, come on, bump, bumps. All right, now I feel that's lined up better. All right, and duplicate now. And then we're going to grab our lipstick that's above that one, which is this one here. And I'm going to grab this one, have this come down. Now make sure that your lipsticks are behind your tube. I did forget to say that. And then I'm going to have it come down and sit in the place that I want it. And then duplicate. Grab your tube. Send your tube back up to its guideline. Duplicate. Over to the next one. So that's all you're going to do is oh, up, over, down, drop, up over down drop so we're gonna keep doing that now so we just got our over so we're gonna duplicate the page we're gonna bring it down we're gonna duplicate the page grab our lipstick where is our lipstick our lipstick and bring that down Straighten it up, put it into position, duplicate the page, We're going to go back up to our position, duplicate the page, whoops, duplicate the page, go over, Duplicate, go down, duplicate, grab your lipstick, go down, straighten it up, move it over. Duplicate, and then we're going to go back up to our line. 
And then if you want to, on the end, duplicate, and then send your tube back over here. So then you've got all the, your pages set up. We're going to go, if you know what we're going to do, we're going to go in between, hit our match and move up, turn the duration all the way up. If you want to go faster, slower, whatever, you can always adjust the seconds here. Then we're going to apply between all pages, and then we're going to set up our timing for in between. So let's set up our timing for like two. Let's shoot for two and see. 2.2 .2 sounds good too. Let's do that a couple times and see. It's it. One day, when I say is the right one. So now I'm going to go and play through this. So let's play through and see what we got. And it'll drop. Let's it goes back up, goes back over. Drop over. I'm watching this animation as my dog is staring at me. She needs to go out. Up, over, and done. And that's how you do that. I have to go, y'all. The dog is running to try to go to the bathroom. I love you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments or hit me up on Facebook. I know there's a lot of pages to this, but it actually looks pretty cool. So I love you. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.